Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. Today, we're going to draw a hippopotamus. The hippopotamus is a very large, omnivorous animal. It has a huge, horrible mouth, which can open at a big range. Its big mouth and the inside tusks are its powerful weapons. We used to think the hippopotamus is a grumpy herbivorous animal, but now we know it is actually an omnivore. They eat meat sometimes. When drawing the hippopotamus, we should pay attention to the proportion between its head and its body. The part from its head to the root of its neck probably accounts for one third of its body length. Then for its trunk, we must show its heaviness and plumpness. Its limbs are very short, which looks somewhat funny. So when drawing, we must first get into the overall composition and determine the positions of its body parts. Locate its head first, then its four limbs. After determining all the positions, we'll carefully draw the details of each part. First of all, we need to determine the position of each part of its body. Drawing a hippopotamus with its mouth open is complicated. Let's first draw the outline of its mouth and draw it big. This is the shape of its upper and lower jaws. Then the inside of its mouth. We are going to draw such a mouth open wide like this. The eyes on its head are about here. Behind its eyes, we draw its ears, followed by its face. Then moving backward, we draw its trunk. First we draw the outline of its trunk. For example, the position of its hips. Its trunk is round and shaped like a goose egg. Its legs are short, so we can just draw them like this. After determining those positions, we draw specific shapes. Let's first draw the details of its mouth. Draw the upper part of its mouth sunken in the middle. We draw its mouth open as if we look at it from down to up. There are several distinctive teeth in the front of its mouth. We can see six relatively long teeth, the two of which on the two sides are the biggest and the middle of which are its incisors. Its lips are thick. Then we extend to the two sides of its mouth. When it opens its mouth, the skin on the left and right sides is close to each other. Its lower lip is thick too. Let's first fix this line and then draw its tusks. The four teeth in the lower part are recognizable. Let's first draw the two longest and distinctive teeth and then the other two shorter ones protruding forward. Next, we draw its tongue inside. Let's draw some teeth here in its mouth. And several ones on this row of its upper jaw. Let's draw some structures in its mouth cavity. Thus, we almost finished drawing the hippopotamus mouth.
We apply darker colors in the depth of its throat. Then we draw its skin on the outside. Next we draw its face with its cheekbones. Here and then its small eyes. From this angle, we can see its eye slightly protruding upward. Then we draw its one small ear behind the eye. After that, we continue to draw its trunk. First, we draw its thick neck. As it is looking up, we draw some big folds between its neck and body. Then, we come to its shoulder. Next, we draw some folds between the back of its elbow and body. Now we draw its short shank. Followed by its forefoot. We draw four toes on its forefoot. Then draw those parts on the other side. Now let's draw its strong back. Round hips. Knee. Short hind leg. Foot and sole. We draw its sole tilting up as the hippopotamus walks on tiptoeing. Then, we draw its foot on the other side. Next, let's draw its belly and tiny tail. We can draw some folds on the skin on both sides of its body. We need to draw the other side of its face to let it look very round. Good, like this, we've finished drawing this hippopotamus.